Louis, I've been expecting. Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, Father. Hmm, Emma. You brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, Father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah! How dare you! Keep going! It's working! Get him! Oh, Louis! No! No! Don't do it! It's over! You've lost! No, Louis! No! Stop! Oh. Oh. <laughs> My son! You will regret your actions when you see him. Come, Louis. It's over. Let's leave. As Mortimer had planned, Napoleon Bonaparte sold Louisiana to the United States after purchasing it from Spain. Bonaparte continued his political and military ascension until he proclaimed himself emperor. He went on to invade a large part of Central Europe. The legend of Napoleon persisted after his death, conferring on the emperor the role of Messiah for France. Remaining very popular, George Washington put an end to the various internal rebellions without violence and re-established trade agreements with Great Britain. Upon his death, he became a national hero and left an entire nation in a state of mind. On his return to Spain, Manuel Godoy proceeded to give Louisiana up to France. Later on, he became the target of the Crown Prince of Spain, Ferdinand VII. The latter gave no respite to his mother's lover going as far as condemning him to exile. He confiscated all of Manuel's titles and possessions, as well as those of his mistress, Pepita. Pursued, they ended up living out their last years in France in poverty and anonymity. The influence von Volner had over King Frederick William ironically ended up working against him. The sovereign thrust him into increasing repression until the end of his reign. Von Volner became the object of the people's hatred, was therefore stripped of his titles and land by the new king, and died in poverty to general indifference in the Prussian countryside. The Duchess, through her close ties with the crown, made it possible for Great Britain to build closer links with the United States on both the diplomatic and commercial fronts. She became inseparable from Marchioness Cunningham, reputed for being the most influential mistress of King George IV of England and whom she inducted into the Golden Order. His eminence was obliged to justify himself on his return from the British Isles over the letter he had sent to His Holiness. Unable to say more about the superior dark forces that he had spoken of, his mental health was brought into question. He was consequently withdrawn from papal state power and it became preferable to speak politely about a faraway retreat when referring to his anonymous confinement in an asylum of Rome. Sarah de Richet never returned from her trip to the English Isles. Her disappearance spelled the end of the Golden Order and was the object of gossip for almost three days at the court of France. 
On his return from Paris, Peyrou resigned from his posting as judge at the revolutionary courts. He withdrew to the south of France with his daughter until his death. No more was ever heard of Lord William Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was the subject of conversations in the European courts, but only for a few months. <laughs>